man, fucking Texas, this place is, it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. You know, I was in Santa Fe the other night and a motherfucker threw a banana peel at me. Yeah, that didn't feel so good. Of course, it was a white person. Uh, not to indict the whites, I'm just saying. And then uh, not only did he throw a banana peel at me, but uh, it was premeditated. You could tell. You could tell it, the, the peel was too brown, you know what I mean? It was like, you didn't eat that banana recently, motherfucker. You had that shit waiting on me. And the whole crowd was white, so the whole, it just got instantly creepy, and everyone was, looked like they were looking at 12 Years a Slave or something. They were all just like... fuck does that? And then they arrested the guy, which was... <laughs> I said, someone's gonna fuck you in the butt in the holding cell. You know that, right? Can't just be throwing banana peels at Dave Chappelle. They're not gonna let you get away with this. And the press called me up like, do you have a statement? A statement? For a fucking banana peel? No! I don't have anything to say. This guy was like fucking famous for throwing a banana peel at me. 20 years from now, he's gonna be tucking his kids into bed and the kid gonna be like, Daddy, tell him about the day that you threw that banana peel at that nigger in Santa Fe. Boy, I'll tell you what, that black motherfucker I saw his name up on the marquee about a week before. I said, man, if I could just get close enough to meet him. Throw a banana on that nigger and show him how. <laughs> Fucking banana gate. I didn't even like. I didn't even want to press charges. You know, this has happened to me before. No, sir, it's not, not a banana. I live, I live in Ohio, right? So this is like, like a few winters ago. Oh, I didn't know you would ever clap for that. Well, all right. That's the first time that shit's ever happened. Ohio! Anyway, uh, I live amongst the whites. <laughs> Small town in Ohio. And it was wintertime and it, it had snowed recently, so there were huge snow drifts on the street. I was walking with my sister. Now, my sister was dressed in all Muslim garb, as were her children. And I was dressed as Dave Chappelle. And <laughs> we were walking and just talking about something, and a car sped around the corner and the window came down and somebody threw a snowball and hit me right in my shoulder. I didn't know what was going on. Why was this happening? Because I am black, because she's Muslim, because I'm Dave Chappelle, I couldn't tell. But again, I knew it was premeditated. Because who the fuck has a snowball and a warm car? Way through lady, because he went around the corner and got stopped at the red light, he was caught in the traffic. So then I ran out into the street, and I just tapped on his window. Hey, my man, can I just talk to you guys for a second? Come on out for, for a second, I just want to talk to you. There's four young white dudes in the car, they're like, just chill, bro. I said, relax. I just want to talk. Now, this is an old black trick. Really, I didn't want to talk. I was going to fuck them up. So, if you're ever caught in traffic and a black guy starts saying he just want to talk to you, don't open the door, nigga. Even if he's me, smiling at you. <laughs> and they were like, chill, bro, just chill. And, and then the one guy in the back seat, I don't know what, he was just cockier than his friends. He was like, fuck it, man. I'll get out the car. And I started yanking on his door. Let me help you, motherfucker. Let me just help you out. <laughs> and I didn't notice his window was down. And he threw a snowball that shit me right in my chest. Bow. He said, fuck you, you fucking nigger. And then the light turned green and they sped off. And I smiled from ear to ear. And I looked at my sister and she said, I got the plates. <laughs> and I was happy as shit because throwing a snowball at a motherfucker is a misdemeanor assault. But if you call him a nigger. <laughs> and me and my sister start dancing, we gonna send this motherfucker to jail. Now, I didn't notice it, but while I was yelling at him, a crowd of all white people had formed because it was an all white town. And I was like, uh oh, I thought I was going to get jumped. And one of them white guys stepped down and was like, I didn't like that at all. 
This is not what this town represents. I don't want this goddamn stuff in my vicinity. And another white guy was like, yeah, I didn't like it either. And then an old white guy stepped out of the crowd and said, young man, if you're going to fill out a police report, I would like to come with you and do the same. I said, you guys would do that for me? And the whole crowd said, hooray! I said, come on, y'all. I look like Malcolm X going to see Brother Johnson with a trail of white people. Unreal. An hour later, we was all just sitting in the police station, and the police came in, they're like, well, Mr. Chappelle, 16 identical police reports. Uh, we ran the tags, two young men that had their mother's car. We have all four suspects in holding, their mother is here. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do, if you want to press charges, we'll move forward. Sorry about that, officer, I'm a little flustered. I've never been in a position where I could decide the fate of white children before, but <laughs> it's weighing heavy on me, sir. And I really can't decide. And I saw a lady pacing back and forth in the hallway and I said, is that? He goes, yes, that's their mother. Well, can I speak to her before I make a decision? And when the mom came in, she saw it was me. She busted out crying. Oh God, oh no, I don't want him to go to jail. I am so sorry. I didn't raise him to do this. We love your comedy. We love you at the house. I said, miss, please just, all right, look, I don't necessarily want your son to go to jail either. Uh, but what he did was pretty, was pretty fucked up. So <laughs> is there something we can do short of jail just to let him know that he's wrong? She goes, oh, I don't know, I don't know. What did you have in mind? Miss, I've never been in this position before. <laughs> Oh, you know what we could do? I don't know if I'm asking too much, but maybe if you, if you could just suck my dick a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not gonna finish. I just want you to do it enough so that I can tell him you did it. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that to anybody's mother. Maybe my kid's mom, but that's it. Ebola was in Texas. Ebola made a visit. Killed that man in Dallas. Five days that man melted to death. What happened to the brother in Dallas? Where was the secret serum is what we all said. I remember in the beginning of Ebola, there were two American doctors that got sick in Africa. They flew them in a private jet straight to Atlanta to the CDC. I didn't even know CDC saw patients. 